All right, gang, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new video. Obviously, we are in the midst of all of the June 1st releases, aren't we? I hope you are purchasing yours, enjoying your Lego. Let me know in the comment section below what you have been buying. Today, we're going to get into a review of a June 1st release. So let's do it. Today, we're going to take a look at set 76434, Aragog in the Forbidden Forest. This was my only June 1st purchase. I'm holding off until I have some more storage and a display room in LEGO HQ before buying any of the bigger sets. The set consists of 195 pieces and is priced at £17.99p here in the UK. You'll see the prices from other regions on the screen now. I'm sure given some time, you'll find this a little cheaper, but as it's a new release, that is the going rate. The set becomes quite a nice extension on the Magical Creatures set we got in the first wave. The webbed part has a connective piece so this can be clicked nicely to that set just mentioned. I had already extended my Forbidden Creatures set a while back with the Draco Malfoy polybag that's readily available online. The set comes with two minifigs in Harry Potter and Ron Weasley. Both figures have two-sided faces, which seems to be a running theme with this band of Harry Potter sets, and to my knowledge, they are both brand new and unique to the set. When it comes to the main build, I think the Aragog model is a big improvement on those we've had in the past. The printed eyepiece adds some really nice detail to the face, and overall, the look is far more pleasing. That is, unless you're not a fan of spiders. The back of the model can move up and down, and the legs do have some movement but are rigid at the base. Overall, I think it's a nice little set, especially for kids as it extends their Forbidden Forest world. The play features are limited, but at the price Lego offers this, I still think it's a nice addition to any Harry Potter collection. An improvement on those in the past is always a winner for me. And so there you have it my friends, we are done and dusted for another review. I hope you've enjoyed that video. As I mentioned in this video, it's my one and only June 1st purchase. I'm very, very sad about this, but I've got plenty of Lego to be building and I've got bigger fish to fry with this whole storage dilemma here in Lego HQ. I am in the process though, and I may be able to announce something soon when I get this done. But anyway, I'm done and dusted. If you're enjoying the content, please show your appreciation by getting involved in the comments and dropping likes on this video. And if you're new around here and you've enjoyed this and you fancy seeing a bit more, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't take a lot to do. But anyway, you stay building good people. See you on the next one.